Perhaps, Kai. Now, let's go right in to the alizarin crimson. Right into the crimson and a tiny, tiny little touch of Prussian blue. Now, so the Prussian let's blue look is at least a hundred times stronger than the crimson. This brush. So, tiny bit of Prussian blue, a lot of crimson in comparison. Just a little. There we go. Load this brush full of paint. Now we're going to put some basic tree shapes in there. So let's go right up here to the canvas. And we touch and bend the bristles. And that's what makes all the leaves and stuff happen here. Touch and bend the bristles. Let's look at this effect. Can we replicate that effect with the setting we have right now for our brushes? Trees. So that would be this type of brush, two inches, and we wanted to move in the direction so of the drawing. So we don't want it all to always be horizontal. Okay. Hmm. This seems fairly... Oh, I think I see what's happening here. Yeah, okay. Hmm. It's not... It's not quite what we were, what we were looking for yet. Uh, how, how can we do that? Let's see. We could try to reduce the density of the bristles. Let's go down to 3%. Yeah, I think that makes it clearer the, to see the individual bristles. Let's go 1%. Okay. What happens if you connect the airs? Oh. If we just touch, it's going to rotate and give this weird but cool effect. That is not what we want. Uh, okay. So. Hmm. Let's have a look at the other options. I think I, I definitely like this more than the other. Um, and let's go back to zero angle here. Hmm. Rotation. Uh, we wanted to rotate it more slowly. Uh, no, this is just rotating a different direction. Hmm. Shall we? No. Hmm. Last time, when we did our trees and brushes, we used the uh, and bushes. We used a different uh, brush. We used this brush. Let's see if we can uh, change this to work a little better for us. This is a pixel engine, and it's using this shape. Can we uh, modify the ratio? I'd like to make it a little more oblong. I'm sure that you are seeing it and I am not. But 
maybe something with a different mask could help us. Something like that. I think that that is nice. Let's keep looking. Might be good. Oh, I like this one. We can play around with that one a bit. Okay, so we do not want this to rotate at random. We might want to rotate with a drawing angle. And we want the angle to be at hmm. doesn't make a huge difference. So maybe we'll leave the rotation alone. Oh. But this we could have probably done this. Uh, earlier. Let's let's clear this. No. Mm. What happens if the angle changes with pressure? Hmm. Not the angle, the ratio. I wonder if we can be a bit sneaky and make it just 50. Uh, or 27. Yeah, there's definitely the ratio has changed and it's staying constant. I like that. Okay. But in that case, what if we use the brush tip that we had earlier? I think it was this one. Oh, no, okay. That, that is not behaving well. Uh, so we try this one. And we ended up settling, I think, for this. Yes, yes, that is much better. Uh, uh, what else? We want it to be a bit soft. Uh, let's see how that changes. No, I don't see much of a change. Um, we do want it to rotate on the drawing angle. And not based on pressure. And Okay. Hmm. Let's save this as a new brush. We might not end up using it again, but this is going to be our tree brush. And uh, in order to Recognize it from the editor. We come here. Gonna remove some of this. Mm. Not like that. Uh, 
it's important to select uh, a good thumbnail. Oh, never mind. Just do the same. So that you can easily identify your brushes. No, I think that's staying crimson. That's all right. Okay. Well, at least we will be able to identify that immediately. Okay. Right. So, save a new brush. This is our three brush and we unload the scratch pad thumbnail there we go we have a new brush and we can even go to our brushes and assign it to my FV tag and so now when I go to select it comes up here uh, I think I undid a bunch of stuff. Okay. Right. So, uh, 200 pixels. And let's see where our trees Turn are. Turn the brush in the shape of the tree here. Let me have a look at this settings. Um, I'm going to reduce the spacing, I think. Maybe that's a bit too little. Let's go for 10. And uh, yes, overwrite. Save. Okay, I like that, but I'm going to change one last thing. I'm going to reduce the ratio even further. Um, yeah, let's let's try this. Okay, so we're going to have our tree here. I miss a bit the rotundness of the other brush, so the, the leaves are not ending in a flat line. Mm. Mm. No, I am still not happy with this. But that's what we are here to do. We are working with this together. Uh, let's go back to the original. And we decided we didn't want it like this because uh, it had these lines. I think we can fix that by making the ratio higher. Okay, right, and uh, I think the spacing was at 25%. Okay, hmm. I think let's see. Because we not only have to make the brush, we also need to know how to use the brush. Okay. And size is already there. Opacity. I want this to be with a 
easier threshold to hit. So let's let's try that. Yes, and reduce the ratio. Let's see how that looks and. Oh, yes, definitely much better. Okay. Um, can we reduce the spacing uh, just a tad? Maybe bring this down a little. Okay. Let's let's save this as a new brush preset, and then I think offline I might go and tweak these even more. Uh, and then choose one. Okay, so let's see how that works out for us. Mm. It's a little better, is it? Uh, yes, I think as long as I don't drag it, it's fine. But let's make it even bigger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm very happy with this result. But we have forgotten to add the blue. So we want to add a little bit of Prussian blue to our color just to make it a little darker, I think. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, yes. And What do you think of the stream? It's a bit transparent. I think we're going to fix that in a minute when we add the rest, like the highlights and the trunk. I think it's going to be fine. There. Isn't that something? I used to work for weeks to make a tree. And maybe, maybe right here. Right there. Maybe we've gone a little too far south with our tree. Let's, let's leave it there. And there's going to be some bushes hanging at the bottom of the tree just to keep him a little company and then we had fixed this earlier let's give this tree a bit more body okay but you see how hard we're striking the canvas we really want to push this paint right into the fabric and all right maybe oh. And then let's give this tree a happy friend. What are we going to put? Let's make some decisions. And 
trees never grow in the perfect ideal tree shape that we might have drawn them when we were children so add some bends and quirks or don't worry too much if they end up on your digital canvas anyway yes. I think there's a the idea of another tree here that is just coming out, going out of frame, but it's still there, still participating in the forest. Right there. And when you're doing this at home, don't worry about following exactly what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm trying to I teach definitely you not I'm trying to teach you to copy. So let your imagination be your guide. There. And that's okay. More of the alizarin in blue. Oh, right here. I see a big tree. There it is. So you just imagine things in your mind and then put them on camera. We, it is true that we do not want to just copy. But for the sake of the composition, let's try to move these trees a little further up. Yeah, like that. And I'm I'm quite happy with this being not quite the same as oh, that's too much maybe. Okay, and some bushes. Very good. Well, we'll just come right in down here a little. And we'll throw in some nice little areas here. There we go. And over here, maybe there's a little bush right there. Once again, just let your imagination go crazy here and do whatever feels right. All right. I think that because they're getting closer, they're getting a little darker. So let's do that. So we darken with blue. And you can tell already there's a little bit of depth there. Maybe I like it a bit, not too much, but that's okay. I don't mind. No. no, okay. Not darkening anything yet. And also, I think I'm going to make a new layer for these. Okay, yes, those are trees. And I'm going to add 